Hello everyone, my name is Somonger and I'd like to welcome you guys back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves! In this episode we have the Hazard Room, so let's get it started. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Grand larceny. How grand. How grand. And I believe this is a flashback to the past. Like, we're going to be playing the game. We're going to see what happened up to the point where the game actually started with. So let's learn... All the stuff we need to learn. This will just be some basic stuff. A little bit of tutorials. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the Fabian's Raccoonist. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. If you picked up skills from reading a book, I would be a just awesome warrior right now. A dragon slayer and a magician. Look at good Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Let me see if I can squeeze into here. I love how Bentley just has all these contractions. He's got, like, a house that just plopped down out of nowhere. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Why, thank you, Mr. Bentley. I do feel pretty good. Job complete. A booyah. Still at 1%. We haven't done anything yet. Okay. Have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I projected. Well, that's tough. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. Oh, this is new. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Oh, okay. There you go. One more time? All right. Ooh, that was tough. Okay. Head for the waypoint, and we'll commence phase two. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. And I think the cash would definitely be awesome as well. Like Sly right, was saying a while ago. What's next? <laughs> as you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. I love how Sly is just going along with it, but he's probably like, What is this guy talking about? Crazy turtle. Left now analog stick, right analog stick, what are these? To the <laughs> waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Use the L3 button to trigger a waypoint. Bam. Well, that's not new. It just shows me the waypoints that are already pinged. I thought I could ping my own. Nice. One down. Two to go. Wait, one to go. One for the party, and two for the show. And here we are. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Oh, booyah. Job complete. 
Look at how proud I am. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. All right, let's do it. Through the door. I love the exit. Classic. What? I wonder where this door is. Oh wow, okay, here we go. An opera of fear, let's do this. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Sly Cooper and the gang in an opera of fear. Venice, Italy, 4.36 a.m. Precisely. Ho, ho, ho. Sounds like I get to use my Francais accent again. Oh, oui, oui. Venice. Wait, they're Italian. <laughs> Looks like a nice place, though. Ferris wheel. People walking around in opera masks everywhere. It doesn't seem like they lost the feeling for opera. And where is Sly going? Bentley just is scooting in. Looks like we found our heart out. And it's just I and Bentley. Let's check out the gadgets right away. Thief net. Okay, same as last time. Watch this, Sly, he's just chilling. Just, you know, a little tired. He's gonna kick his feet up any second here. Come on. Oh, reading a book. Wow. He just never, never ceases to amaze me. A very, very good reader. Who would have thought a coon could read? Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. Pizza. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. I see you. So this guy, kind of a cool background story. I always picture like mobsters with the opera, so it works out well. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Noted, but also, take note, Sly doesn't care. And if Sly doesn't care, he goes and does what Sly does best. That's break in, take the loot, and save Tom Marie! 
because the Murray is awesome. And I have a blast with the Murray. He is just pure strength, pure power, pure brute force, and awesome. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Hey, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for me, man, Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polizia! Wait! Gotta think of something to keep him quiet. I could try threatening him, flattering him, cutting a deal. Let's try flattery. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. Wow. <laughs> Should we, let's threat him. <laughs> Not threat him, but let's threaten him. And I think it's funny, he's pretty much dumb, dumb Dimitri right here. Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. This guy, I tell you. Now, Dimitri, I think he had a different voice actor in the second one, but he's the same old Dimitri, and I love that he used a main man, Murray. I think I'm gonna use that. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops will throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! He's right. It'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Maybe I could disguise us both as police and walk out. Distract the cop so he can get away. Take him with me up the air vent. Let's just go through these. Let's go disguise first. Tell you what. I'll steal a couple of police uniforms. We'll suit up and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. <laughs> I suppose that is true. <laughs> Let's distract the cops. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Wait a second. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. I think I want to do the air vent. I changed my mind. No one is sure of the cost, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe Slow that this man, Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old Wait, fashion. Wait, where am I going? Get out there and keep your eyes. Way over there, okay. I've hired you what are they looking at here? Over traditional cost because slideshow. It's a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio. I like Bruce. slideshows. It's All right, moving on. Get tough or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. Hmm, how do we get in here? Okay. I know Wait. you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, pay attention. Wait, is that Carmelita? Paid to nap. Just let me get my note cards back in order. Oh, that is Carmelita, I think. 
Let's check her out. Bow chicka wow wow. I think she has a new voice actor as well. Your attention, please. Yeah, she does for sure. Oh, thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. Bam! Cell door key. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. All right, all right. So we got a little sneaking to do. Up and over? No. Let there be light. Lots of light. So I'm not sure if you could actually sneak out the air vent with him or not. Because I don't remember playing this. Like I was saying, I remember this one way less than I remember the second one. Oh no. <gasps> Sly Cooper. Should have figured you'd show up. Grab him, boys. Mission failed already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> alright, alright, here we go again. Brother, on off. On, off. Come on. Shut them lights out. There we are. Oh, jeez. Thieves work better in the dark. I wonder what those guys are. It's like just a pink blob I with a mouth. See, I can see. Not too smart either. I can see ya. It's dark. Oh, it's really? Dark like the grave. Huh? <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. We're almost there. There be light. Yeah, these guys aren't too bright. And I'm liking uh, Carmelita's look, but I liked her old voice actor better. And here we are. Should we free this scumbag? I don't know. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's ugly, like that guy said. Smelly, but he does have jewels. We will take those. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Good. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. Vibrating locks, huh. Must be new. I have not felt one sense of vibration here at all. I wonder if I have my vibration turned off. Because it's showing it, but I don't think I have it on. There we go. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Sorry. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay. Guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. Just like that. Oh, how nice is Sly? What a gentleman. Opens the door for Carmelita. Got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward. What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Oh man, you got quite the punchlines, and I think we're supposed to be running, so let's run. 
Let's go. And I just love the the banter that these two have. And I don't know why they just don't admit to each other that they love each other and stop all this shooting. What if she were to kill him? How bad would she feel? She would probably end up quitting the force, go on solitary confinement of herself in her room and never speak to another person again. But, on the other hand, she is a terrible shot, so I don't think we have to worry about that. And hey girl, sliding in. Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray. We need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? <laughs> I just love Sly's sense of humor. Job complete. Booyah. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, Make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. All right. Sounds like we got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so here we are back at our hideout. It looks like we had a pizza delivered, so I don't know how smart that was. But anyways... I want to thank you guys all for watching Sly 3 Episode 2. Remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for more. Have a good day, everyone.